Now we're back to time, we've got loads of stuff here. I've got about nine things here, I think. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, some switches. Single pole, double throw switches. So obviously PCB mount. These are for replacements for some equipment which I repair. I think these will work. Oh, my nails are dirty. I've been working outside today. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I think these will work. I'm not sure yet. I haven't tried these ones before, this particular size. But I've got one piece of equipment which needs one of these replacing, so I will try it in there. Hopefully it does actually fit. It might. Don't forget to be links down below for these things too. If I give you the links for things, I will. Bag inside a bag, it's always thrilling. Little magnets. I'm not sure these are big enough for what I had in mind. Yeah. I was thinking about using these to hold on a cover, like a sunscreen sort of thing on a vehicle, on a motorhome. So when we're out and about doing stuff in the motorhome, we could then hook this onto the bodywork and um, not have to worry about mounting it in some other way. I mean, I've used magnets right now, but the magnets I've got are really strong and they're too strong. So I thought I'll get some smaller magnets with some little hooks on. I thought, oh, we'll give these a go. Because like, then we've got at least either hook it onto the sunscreen or you can use them as handles to get them off again. But these are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. I mean, I know these smaller magnets, but... Hmm... Um, Yeah, I don't think that's going to do it. Oh well, I guess I'll find a use for something else. It's a block of foam. I'm sure there's something in there somewhere. How do we get into it? 20 strong magnets. That's why it's a big block of foam. Wow, where did I seal it? Must be a top of something, there you go. Ah, these size here, these are too small as well. Yeah, and uh, again, same reason as this. You know, they're actually like the same size as these ones. Yeah, that oh, well, these, these will get used, but they're not as strong as I thought they would be either. They're not that strong. Yeah, nah, fail. I guess my interpretation of what the size was is completely wrong. No, I might use real knife on this one. Why make it easy? It's still fighting me. Oh, okay, MacBook battery. This is for a 13 inch I picked up recently, and the battery's a couple of pouches inside the battery pack. I think it's like three or four of them are slightly bulging. The start in the bulge. So I thought, right, okay, I'll replace that before it comes too bad. So 13 inch retina, this is for. Uh, 1502, I think that's right. So I'll be doing a video about that, I suppose. I might do a video about battery replacement. I haven't done one of those yet, so it could be a good opportunity. Let's see what this is. My ram knife's let me down today. Apparently it's 12 volt, whatever it is. Stickers, some double sided tape, specs. What the stickers are for. You can adjust it like this so you can mount it on the panel. Um, no mounting points though. I guess that's why they're giving you double sided tape to stick it on somewhere with double sided tape. Not sure I trust that. You can angle them everywhere, that's good. Let's pair it up and see what it comes out like. Right, I've got hooked up the power supply. Let's try turning it on. I'm not sure I've got the right terminal. Sometimes you have to put on a certain terminal on a cigarette light plug. Let's find out. I've got it set to 12 volts. Turn the switch on. It's got high or low. But it works. That's half an amp. And that's 640 milliamps or so. Not the quietest thing though. 
well, there's a manual for it and apparently the different colour blades gives you different voltage specs so yellow blade means 12 volts, orange blade means 24 volts interesting QC pass of course but I'm not quite sure about why there's numbers it could be useful just don't know why they're there DigiKey box oh actually I'll get that wrong shouldn't I if you can guess where this came from put it down below in the comments that's what I meant to say I was repairing a piece of equipment recently and I bought a whole bunch of parts because I thought oh, I don't have some stuff for it I bought a bunch of parts and just tipped them out these are all things which I thought I might need or things which I don't have which are getting harder to find so here's some MC14518 BDWR2 which is a silk bag I think these are service mount versions, yeah, these are service mount versions of those parts. Um, CA313MZ, again, I think these are service mount versions of the parts. Some more of those first ones. Okay, what's this? CD4042BE, it's through hole parts. These are actually what I really wanted, because these are using equipment I was fixing. I've done a video on it. You will see it eventually, it's probably going to be a multi-parter, and the reason for that is because there's 34 gigabytes of footage 34 gig of footage I haven't even started that one yet that's why I was editing it uh, CD4016 this is like a 4066 but a more basic version of it I suppose previous version this is a LM324N op amp again through hole I might already have some I've got some anyway they're cheap NJE180 there's some transistors in there, probably can't see them. Again, getting harder to get. There's also an NJ170, but they didn't have them anymore. Got some of those whilst I could. 2N5172 transistors, through holes. 2N4401 transistors. Some of these are getting quite expensive to get. 2N4401 again. And some T0084. CN op amps as well, older style things, but some equipment use these. And sometimes, if you're repairing equipment, you want to put in like for like, you don't want to substitute because it may affect the way it behaves in some subtle way. So, where possible, I'll try and put in exactly the right part, which is why I'm getting some of these parts, which may be like the TR84s, you know, these are really basic op amps, you could get much better stuff these days. But if I'm repairing a piece of gear which has got one of these in it, I'll put the same thing in again because at least then it will it's guaranteed to work the same way without some kind of weird subtle change in behaviour which can be problematic sometimes. Anyway, so that's a bunch of parts. Now, the annoying thing is the thing which I actually got all these things for, I managed to fix it out. So this is from Amazon, as you can tell. Oh, I did that again, didn't I? Put down in the comments if you can guess where this one's from. I suck at this. So these are all the same, I think they are anyway, bought a bunch of them. These are Imperial, um, what size would I have forgotten, doesn't say, I don't know what size that was now, but it's an Imperial thread. So these are using some equipment which are used at events and they've actually currently got plastic bolts on them and they all strip, oh, very rarely are they actually any good. And I'm kind of sick of dealing with the equipment which other people have, which have got these plastic knobs on them, and they're all broken. So I bought a bunch of these. My intention is that when I find equipment which needs replacing, I'm just going to put them in there and solve the problem of the broken ones not working. These things are surprisingly expensive. I think they're like two or three dollars each. So it's just a couple of belts. I think it's two. So these are these things, whatever they are, half inch X92, KHR, I don't know, but these are lawnmower belts, I recently had an issue with my lawnmower, I actually recorded some video about it, and um, you will be seeing it, yeah, kind of, not the lawnmower, but you'll see the thing I was working on, and what happened is it chewed, well, basically overheated and melted the belt, 
yeah, the belt just snapped because it got so hot. It just melted it. And I had one spare belt for the lawnmower. I purchased that when I got the lawnmower. So I got two more. Because you always need to have spares. I like to have, in this case, something which I know I'm going to be using. It's, this is a consumable item, really. I like to have more than one spare. So now I've got two spares. So if the one that's on there now fails, I've got another spare. And then I've got time to get some more of them before this one ends up getting used as well. Anyway, look, got 10% off voucher. That's nice. I know it's not electronics and stuff, but it's part of my life. It's just fixing a lawnmower is... seems to be doomed to fixing lawnmowers. I spent a lot of money on a brand new lawnmower, and the PTO clutch gave me trouble after what six months, seven months, something like that. And I didn't want the hassle of going back to them and saying, "Oh, look, this thing's played. I've just fixed it today." So, you know, what I'm like, anyway, videos down below. Subscribe over there if not subscribed. Is that messing with your RCD as much as messing with mine? And Patreon spoiler go over there. Catch you later.